This video is brought to you by Astapro and Liquid IV. More on them after the reaction. Before we hop into the video, just wanted to remind y'all that Greg, Koi Jandra, Michael Tesler, and myself will be at WonderCon this Sunday, March 31st, 2 p.m. in room 207. Come say hey and check out our second annual panel. Santa Tits of the Reject Nation, it's me, Tara Erickson, alongside my friend now again. We're back at it. Say your name. My name is Aaron. Hello. We're watching Rango. How are you today? I'm so good. I'm you, real good. Are you excited about Rango? Rango. Rango. Yes, I am. Very excited. Listen, I'm back at it, and this is the first reaction of me being back with me and Aaron. Woo! Woo! So don't forget, you got to leave a like, you got to leave a comment, you got to get in there, tell us how cool we are, tell us what you think about the movie, and also don't forget to ring the bell! Ring, ring the, the bell! bell! Also, thanks to Prep for helping us edit down these videos. And if you're not already on Patreon, you need to like get your, get business, your business together. together. Like seriously, you need to look into your head and your heart and your mind and like journal about it and be like, I should probably join Patreon for the real rejects. Because then you go watch the entire reaction with me and Aaron and Rango all together. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, what else do I have to say to you guys? I think I'm like killing it here, but like there's still notes in front of me just so you guys are aware to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, right. All right. On, Patreon, on Patreon, Greg and John offer exclusive highlights and watch alongs over there. Also on Patreon. Patreon, so you should journal that down too, so, so that you remember why cool, why 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 cool it is. That was the sentence I was gonna say. Why it's so cool to be on Patreon. Also, don't forget rejectnationshop.com. You gotta get that T-shirt. What 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 what? Okay, I think I did it, and I think I did a good job. good job. You guys can comment and be like, was it crap or was it good? Tell me it's good. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay. Oh, it's a Nickelodeon movie. Nickelodeon. Get gacked. Get got, Nikki. Mariachi Owls. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is this a musical? I don't know. I was thinking like, like Mexican Western. To immortalize in song the life and untimely death of a great legend. And enjoy your low calorie popcorn while we, we don't tell have the strange and bewildering tale of a hero who has yet to enter his own story. I will do just that and pretend like in the theater like this movie intended it to be. Ma, 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 crunchy, creamy, cookie, candy, cupcake. It's a good acting exercise. The stage is set. The night moist with apprehension. Alone in her chamber, the princess prepares to take her own life. <laughs> Far better to nourish worms than to live without love. She reaches for the poison chalice. Meanwhile, the wicked Malvolio plots his ascension to the throne. <laughs> while her aging father lies gravely ill. Oh. Hark! Who goes there? Tis I, the much-anticipated hero, returning to rescue his emotionally unstable maiden. Every maiden that came before her. Of my vengeance, the sting of my... Dr. Marks. Dr. Marks, I'm not getting anything from you. <laughs> Acting is reacting. Uh. Victor, you were wooden. There, I said it. Mr. Timms, you were good. <laughs> Perhaps a little too good. That's what they say to me. I'm the guy, the protagonist, the hero. Who else is better qualified to bask in the adulation of his numerous companions? I love the detail on him. Yeah. The animation's really good. I'm loving how colorful this is. The colors like really pop. Yeah, I agree. This movie is also oh, definitely cool POV. Yeah, this movie is definitely Stage meant to be seen ready. in 3D. Yeah. I could be the sea captain returning from a mighty voyage. Or I could be the rogue anthropologist battling pythons down in the Congo. And if you desire romance. Brown's <laughs> like a wow wow. wow. Oh, man man has ever known. oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it curly? <laughs> you seem remarkably at ease. Oh stop it. No, really. Well, if you must. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that tickles. Are those real? Ah. <laughs> That's it. Conflict. People, I've had an epiphany. The hero cannot exist in a vacuum. What our story needs is an ironic, unexpected event that will propel the hero into conflict. <laughs> what a meta kids movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks great. That looks awesome. 
<laughs> Literally. Great choice of music as well. Ave Maria playing in the background. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. This is insane. That is a great shot. <laughs> no. Mr. Timms. No. Save the fishy. R.E.P. Mechanical Fish. Uh, oh, this is not good for us. No. Shed that. Yeah. Oh, that's a quick shed. Nice. Oh. Round two. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's like 125 there. A little closer. I won't bite you. Oh, oh no. Oh. I must get to the other side. He waits for me. Who? The spirit of the West, amigo. They say he rides an alabaster carriage with golden guardians to protect him. Enlightenment. We are nothing without it. Truth. Your delusional quest just ruined my life. I'm a I had an bars. incredibly complex social network going. Highly sophisticated friends. I was very <laughs> popular. <laughs> I don't see no friends. You are a very lonely lizard. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I must get back to my quest. You mean you've done this before? Oh, yes, many times. Ah, that's it. Pull my finger. The spirit is waiting for me. Please don't is fart. He, is he going to pop back up? I think he's going to reinflate. Oh. <sighs> okay. Nope. I must get to the other side. Why don't you just wait until there are no... It's like roll them over. Yeah. <laughs> it's not so easy as it looks. It's a metaphor. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. Wow. Ah. No. No. Ew. Yep. I know it's just mud, but it looks like poop. <laughs> Oh, wow. That oh, was really convenient. This movie is so cinematic, like the way it's shot. I know. I was like, I've been surprised I haven't heard more people talk about this movie because right? it's really good so yeah. far. The animation wise, crazy. You need a little help, amigo. Oh, you seem to just do it just fine. I'm just looking for the path to water. If you want to find water, you must first find dirt. Destiny, she is kind to you. Tomorrow is Wednesday. The water comes. Who voices this armadillo? <laughs> I know, right? At noon, the townspeople gather for a mysterious ritual. Oh, you mean like with real people? A day's journey. Walk out into the desert? Well, then I'm going. I'm leaving the road now. <laughs> I'm walking into the desert alone we all have our journeys to make i will see you on the other side that's very ominous He's super ominous also was he looking at us when he said that yeah, I, I, was like, like, I feel like they keep breaking did the, he do the, the wall. direct to lens i don't know i can't tell <laughs> Literally, the only thing I knew about this movie is who voices Rango and the fact that it's like in the desert. Yeah, I only knew about Johnny Depp as well, that he was like the lead. Yeah. I did not know that there's a mariachi band singing us along the journey. Get it, get it. Uh oh, loses cojones. No. Uh oh. Here in the Mojave Desert, animals have had millions of years to adapt to the harsh environment. But the lizard is going to die. No. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in him. Don't move. Uh oh. What? What the hell? Don't move. Not moving. Shh. Try to blend in. What? Blend in? Wait, wait, wait. You can you can camouflage, buddy. You haven't had to use that skill before because you never had to adapt, but you can do it. Oh, it's a frog. You can do it. What is that? Oh, it's not a frog. It's, a, it's another type that of lizard. Like a slug. What are you doing? Ow! Stop moving. Ow! 
What are you doing? I'm blending. Go put somewhere else. Don't distract me. No room at the inn. It's an art, not a science. His shirt changes too. Ah, I love it. <laughs> oh, here she comes. You better run, Mojito. You what? I thought you said don't move. That was before. Now, you run. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, no, lucky. poor birdie. Get out of there. Oh, come on. Come on Help guys. him out, Rango. Uh-oh. Maybe not. <laughs> 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 oh. oh. Oof. You're going to hide the bottle? Yeah, right? Good idea, good idea. Get in there. Get up in that bottle. I don't know how you're going to get your head in there, but okay. I just, just did it. Nice. Can he break it with his oh, beak, hey. though? Definitely. <laughs> oh, testy. Oh, oh no. Ugh, the screeching sounds. I hate it. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to drop it and break it so he can get him. Nice. Smart bird. Smart bird. Good bird. <laughs> oh, no. I'll kill you. Well, it is a frog, I think. I can't figure it out. <laughs> cool shot inside the bottle. I'll let you kiss my sister. <laughs> you son of a <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty. Gorgeous. Yeah, and all the stars, too. Like, wow. it makes you want to go to Joshua Tree. <gasps> the bomb man is real. Oh, my goodness. It looked like a face before, and I was like, I'm seeing things I wasn't. What is... There are actual snakes in the desert. Fear them at all costs. Is this his nightmare? <laughs> Where are your friends now? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is that fish's voice so deep? <laughs> Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. That's poo water. <laughs> oh. Ooh, no, don't drink that, Ringo. You don't uh, want none of that. Oh, but, oh, but baby. Get your slimy whipped phalanges off my boots. <laughs> I got a bead on you, stranger. So you get up real slow. Lesson you want to spend a bit of part of the afternoon putting your face back together. Okay. Our town is drying up. Someone is dumping water in the desert. What are you involved in? I've got two one acts, a mystery, and a musical I've been gestating. Just kind of working on the melody right now. It's like a... <laughs> <laughs> Mother was a slipper. She'll be coming round the mountain in the rain. Okay. You ain't from around here, are you? Look like the frizz in her hair. Look how textured this yeah. is. Yeah. Crazy. So, what's your name? Baines. My daddy was a great man, even if he did exhibit a proclivity for lagoons. Mm. He, Spicy. You were eating his ashes. <laughs> you carry his remains? No, his ashes. He loved to smoke. They never <laughs> found the body. Oh. My daddy was never near that mine shaft. Yes, he had been sober for over a month. Uh -huh. And for you to insinuate that he would abandon his parental responsibilities at a delicate time of my personal development is an affront to my sense of... What? Oh. Oh, she, she got she got stressed out. She, uh, she froze. Is there... Is she... What? Does that oh. happen to lizards? They get stressed and just kind of freeze like that? <gasps> Hello. I don't know. I take back what I said earlier. This is not a kid's movie. This is a family movie. <laughs> so... Because <laughs> like a lot of this dialogue would go over kids' heads. I agree. What? What? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What am I doing? You? What are you cuddling me? You were frozen. Huh? <laughs> uh, it's it's a defense mechanism. Actually, lots of lizards have it. You're making that up. <laughs> so you get a diet here, or you want to ride into town? No. Yes, please. Thank you. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday's when we it all is get to it. Wednesday's water day. And so the stranger seeking companionship finds the woman, much like the sirens of ancient times, luring him to his certain demise. <laughs> Whoa, well, here we are. <laughs> oh. What a lovely town. In the middle of nowhere. 
I sure do appreciate this, Miss Beans, and if there's ever anything yeah, that I can... Get on up. See ya, Beans. Um, I love this song right now. Yes, I am a fan of folk, some country. I'm impartial to some folk myself. <laughs> Beans! You know that there, fella? Hey, Beans! Miss Beans! Nope. Hey, Beans! in. I would say first get rid of the Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> yeah. Number one. I feel like this takes place in the 2010s, but for some reason, this desert town is like stopped in the 1800s. <laughs> right. <laughs> it <left. laughs> Ain't got no saliva. Get your spit out. You're dehydrated, sir. Look like you done found yourself the perfect solution there, partner. Head on into the saloon. <laughs> I love the lighting in this saloon. It looks awesome. Yeah, just peeking through the windows. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoa. I'd eyes. like a glass of water. That cigar looks so <laughs> real. <laughs> Cactus juice. That's what we got. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh Whoa. no, damn. Let's get lit. Yeah, baby. <laughs> You're a long way from home, ain't you? Who exactly are you? Who am I? I could be anyone. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's never had a name before. You missing your mommy's mango? As a matter of fact, I am. But not as much as your daddy's cooking. I see what's going on. I see what's happening. Uh, I'm from the West. Out there, beyond the horizon. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. You're going to use his acting skills. Rango is 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 birthed. Yeah, that's right, hombres. <laughs> Place I come from, we kill a man before breakfast just to work up an appetite. <laughs> Then we pepper him. Then we braise him in clarified butter. We eat him. You eat him? That's what I said! <laughs> you might say I'm from everywhere there's trouble brewing and hell waiting to be raised. You might say I'm what hell was already raised up. <laughs> Names <laughs> Rango. I love it. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Are you the fellow that killed them Jenkins brothers? Killed them with one uh bullet. Oh, seven of them. That's right. How you do that, Mr. Rango? Mm -hmm. And I will be happy to tell you how. But you're all going to have to listen up. Because this is where it gets complicated. I love the way these characters are animated. Like, they're just so, like, their eyes, everything just seems so realistic. Yeah. But, like, also very um, stylized in, like, a very, their own kind of way. Exactly. I like that it's all these animals that would exist in this environment, but they found like 1800s humanoid versions of how exactly. to bring those to life. We just can't give no more credit. But this here is a bank. This is where you keep the water. You've been like a niece to me ever since your daddy did not fall drunk down a mine shaft. Uh-oh. I've, I've tried to protect you and others from certain realities. But I, oh, that was, well, the way to them Mr. realities. Of, you know something. I need to sh show you something. <laughs> Oh. Uh oh. And this here is the reserve. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know as if you've noticed, but folks just ain't making deposits on a Wednesday no more. Oh, <laughs> it's it's the thing that goes inside the water dispenser. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Sparklets bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone is dumping water in the desert. I seen it with my own eyes. Water in the desert. Was this during one of your special times? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a desert squirrel. Interesting. I didn't notice he was a squirrel until I saw his tail. Well, what am I supposed to do? I suppose we could talk to the mayor. I hear he's been helping people out in this time of crisis. I wonder if that's going to come in, but you notice a scar underneath her lip? On hers? Yeah, yeah. When they show her, show her oh, again, you'll okay. see it. Pure grain alcohol instantly vaporizing his bodily form, leaving nothing but a charcoal statue and a high-pitched squeal. 
Oh man, yeah. Even you've been a storyteller your whole life. Of course they're into this. He's ready. Oh, oh, oh hold on there. That's only six. What happened to number seven? Hell. He died of infection. <laughs> 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 Oh, partner. Time to put your money where your mouth is. You don't pay the mortgage, you don't own the land! If I see your face in this town again, I'm gonna slice it off and use it to wipe my unmentionables. Yeah. Oh, God, what is Rango gonna do now? You have to prove yourself. You know who that is, Bill? There's Rango. Kill them Jenkins brothers. Done it with one bullet, Bill. All seven of oh. them! Is that right? Her boobs were a lot. I was just going to say, I mean, not the frog lot. boobs. There was a lot going on there. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh, come on. Come on, why would you do that? No, thank you. <laughs> oh. Hey, now you just made him mad. Oh, let me get that. <laughs> No. Oh, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Draw. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look how he's holding it. I love it. <laughs> Ooh. Ew. Why? I want to give you fellas one last chance to reconsider. Uh. Mm -hmm. I did look if partner. you don't want to reconsider, I might consider reconsidering myself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, was that the hawk? What's coming? Dang, even they're scared of it. Yeah, these oh, are the same yeah. hawk from earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Dipped out. Yeah. All right, now, listen up. Things are going to be different around here now that Rango's in town. I want my shoes shined every morning. My coffee hot. Danny's on the side. Does he even have shoes? <laughs> and when you see me coming, stand aside. When I take large steps, and I don't want none of you hayseeds getting your bodily fluids on my boots. Of course, there is no need. Whoa. Whoa, that has a, he has a silver beak. Yeah. So I want you all to come on outside now. Line up single file while I take a brief elevation. Ah! Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, that was easy. Does the bird talk? <laughs> never. Never mind. <laughs> just, just a distraction you needed. Ah. Uh. Running from the hawk. Give him hell, Rango. <laughs> I hope this bird either doesn't talk or has a voice that doesn't fit it at all. Right. It's like a <laughs> tiny, like, well. Yeah, it's like a little squeak. You should get running before I kill you. <laughs> well, check us out, pal. <laughs> Ooh. Nice camouflaging, Rango. Okay, all right. But he still sees you. <laughs> oh, oh God. smart bird. Oh, smart bird, yo. I wish oh, I had good. some licorice. Oh, damn. Oh, that looks so good. Looks like red vines. I love red vines. Quick on his feet. I can think. Nice. Now, why did you tie the red vines to I your waist? I don't know. I was like, why did he make a rope to follow behind him? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Rico, get out of there. He ain't no bird killer. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, boy. Is that the rest of the water reserve? I was just singing. Yep. Oh. Oh, he oh, did it. Okay. No, the bird's going to be like fine. No, or the bird is had dead? to have escaped, right? Oh, no, he did it. He ah! killed the bird. No, the water reserve is inside of the. In the other thing, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Why did they just have a bowl of sand sitting up high? <laughs> For this exact reason. <laughs> to kill this bird. He did it with one bullet. <laughs> I think it's time he met the mayor. You're gonna meet the mayor. Let's hear it for the mayor. Yay, Rango! And so this stranger basks in the adulation of his new friends, sinking deeper into the guacamole of his own deception. Guacamole. When is he going to die? Soon, compadre. <laughs> They're just preying on this lizard's downfall. <laughs> What animal do you think the mayor is? Water, Mr. The, Rango. Oh. Now we know. Is it a turtle? turtle? I was going to say, we haven't seen a turtle yet in the desert. With water, there's life. <laughs> Look at them. Oh. oh. This is from my private stock. Vintage rainwater from the great deluge. Not Noah's deluge. Good heavens, I'm not that old. <laughs> uh. I was mayor here before there was a dirt. And I may be just a sentimental old turtle, but I think there's a future for this town, and I hope you'll be part of it. <gasps> no. Uh. Rainco. What were you trying to do there, bud? Steal all the water? Do you know how they make it through each and every day? They believe that the water will come. They believe against all odds and all evidence that tomorrow will be better than today. I should live by this. Right now? They believe in you. Pick it up, Mr. Rango. People have to believe in something. You would also notice everyone else is like very muted colors, like like dark brown and yes. stuff. But he's, he's he's the bright. He's bright, yeah, bright green, bright red. Yeah, he's different. He stands out. Excuse me, Sheriff Rango. I want to talk to hey, you. Hey, Beans. What do you think of the new duds? I got a ten-gallon hat marked down from fifteen. That's nice. Have you met Angelique? Hello, Beans. <laughs> the French fox is great. I'm trying to save my daddy's ranch, which is on the verge of an agricultural meltdown where you playing patty cake with this huge trollop. Why does she do that? It's a survival reflex. It is not a rash. It is a birthmark. Did anybody here mention what happened to our last sheriff? Spider? Huh. <laughs> he looks like a Mad Max spider. Totally. Those goggles. Yeah. What happens at noon? It's like a warthog. Not a warthog. Uh, uh, wild hog? Wild hog. Yeah. Can I ask you, the, uh, the, last, the last sheriff, um, pardon me, where did everybody go? What exactly happened to the... Huh. It's a little cult-like. A little bit. Not creepy at all. Nope. Not at all. This is when they all pray for the Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, they're in a trance. Interesting. Ew. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just punched that woman in the face. He did. He's Rango. He's Rango. <laughs> So, is this considered normal civic behavior? Every Wednesday, just like clockwork. You kill bird. Matter of fact, I did. It's a Native American bird. He means rattlesnake Jake, Mr. Rango. He never comes to town because he's scared of that hawk. But he might come now. Interesting. I ain't got no problem with this rattlesnake Jake. That's just what Amos said. Famous Amos? That's what he's famous for. All dead sheriffs. I welcome you to our great day of deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we have a newcomer amongst us today, my friends. A man I think needs little introduction to you. So bold has been his <laughs> Mr. Rango. It's a great punch in the face. The time has come, my friend. I guess Why is underwear. he in a onesie? <laughs> That's like underwear, like 1800s yeah. underwear. The time of destiny. <laughs> The time of deliverance. Hallelujah. That guy's got the right idea. He's like mm -hmm. 13 bottles on his back. Businessman right there. They remind me of the Monsters, Inc. Uh, exterminators. Yeah. yeah. Ah! No, thank ah! you. I know it's dirt, but it looks like poop. I feel like that's, that's poop. 
But if I can help in any way, please know that my door Hold is it. all... First the banks run dry, and now this here spigot. The banks run dry? He said there's no water in the bank! Oh, oh, we have... Oh, we... Pure chaos. None of that civil disobedience in my town. Thank you very much. Let me have a gander at the source of the societal discontentment here. Oh, mercy. <laughs> I've been thinking, and I believe I've figured something out. You folks have a water problem. You don't say. Why, you're just as dried up and parched as a jackrabbit in July. So you belly on up and take you a double shot. <laughs> wow. This is a terrible metaphor, sir. Why, we'd all be drinking. Before you know it, there wouldn't be any more water. And then where would we be? Dead. Real thirsty. Why, we'd turn on each other like a bunch of animals. <laughs> we have got six days of water. You just drank a day's worth. As long as we have this water, we have some hope. Ain't no one gonna tango with the Rango. Oh, he's getting spurs. Uh oh. What the hell is that? Cool. This ain't the bank. Oh, you dead to die. Hold it right there. <laughs> Sheriff, get them hands up where I can see them. This looks awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah. You got your shovel, pickaxe, Benadryl, loofah, sorted snacks, some puzzle books, and you're gonna need a permit. The little one with looks kind of like uh, reminds me of like Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> I've had polyps removed smarter than the two of you. Hell's fire! This this ain't the pet Pappy. Is that a mole? Oh, interesting. Like a humanoid mole. Ooh, uh, his little chin. He's grossing me out. <laughs> his little dangly nose. I don't like it. I don't want it. Well, here in the town of Dirt, we happen to have the finest financial institution this side of the Missouri. Protected morning, noon, and night by yours truly. Much obliged. How do you sleep, Rango? Oh, what's going on? Don't oh, go! The water's out! What'd he say? He said the bank's been robbed! Whoa, Dr. Marks, I'm on fire! Uh, embrace me. Embrace me. <laughs> Does anybody here know how to use a firearm of any kind? <laughs> what do we do now, Sheriff? Now, we ride. Yeah. Yeehaw. Where are we going? In a, in a world where all the animals are birds, I mean, all the all the animals are people, what right. are they riding? What is, exactly. What are we doing here? So it's, it's, it's giving Mickey owning Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm depending on you, Spoon. Always good to have a medical man along, Doc. Reptiles. Gotta stick together, right, my brother? I'm an amphibian. Ain't no shame in that. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no shame in that. Oh, damn. You sure you're fit for duty there, soldier? How are you alive right now? You got a little something in your eye there. Uh-huh. There's conjunctivitis, sir. Ugh. Well, I'm glad to hear it's not contagious. He's the best soldier you got. He's literally walking around with an arrow in his eye, and he is not in pain. Now just wait a cotton picking minute. A posse ain't no place for a good... Go get him. Get him, girl. Hold on there, little sister. Someone's gonna have to look after the town while I'm gone. Can I get oh, you damn. someone? I love her. She's great. You're gonna bring that water back, aren't you? Count on it, little sister. Here. Oh, I like how the music kicked in with this shot. Yeah. Do, do, do. Clearly, the robbers came from this direction. I say we track this pipe back to its hydraulic origin and apprehend the culprits behind this aquatic conundrum. Aquatic conundrum. What did he say? I think he said follow the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Also, this girl has not brought up her dad's farm again. No. I'm not. like, what's on her dad's farm? I bet you, yeah, I'm curious why she hasn't been... Yeah, she brought it up when he was getting his outfit. Right. Oh, but, yeah, that's not something. And she that. seemed very set on it, and now she's just like, all right, we'll find water. But maybe well, it doesn't matter if they don't have water. Right, because they only have five days. So I feel like this takes priority. Right. Once all that, we can go back yeah. to the other plot. Because they might die. They got to they gotta find that water. What the hell is that? Ugh. All right, Saramon. Snuff out them torches. Oh, pretty. Start climbing. Not bad, huh, Vince? You keep thinking like that, your head's gonna catch on fire. Well, you know, you get on a roll, you... <laughs> hot, hot, burn. Hot, hot, burn. <laughs> Embrace me. <laughs> You're gonna wanna see this. It's Mr. Merrimack from the bank. Oh, no. Maybe her what's happening with her farm and the waters are connected. Oh, yes, it must be. 
He was drowned. Drowned? In the middle of the desert? Oh, like she said, there was water coming into the desert. Nobody believed her. That's interesting. The ground's still wet. Hey, what's that dad gum Indian do? I see you're consulting with the spirits. No, I'm multi. Means I'm ready to be made. <laughs> <laughs> Switching it to electric. Hell yeah. Plug it in, baby. Plug it in. Hey, hey, hey. That's very pretty. Beautiful shot. Ooh. Yeah, classic. So cinematic and pretty. Can you tell us about the spirit of the west? Oh, yeah. I told you about that. Acting performance number 15. <laughs> They say he rides Whoa. in an alabaster carriage with golden guardians to protect him. Whoa. Cool. This would look really cool in 3D. But he only appears to those who have undertaken an epic quest and have made it to the other side. Other side. What are you going to do about Rattlesnake Jake? <gasps> what? Where? Sorry about that. Jake, you mean my brother. Your brother? That's what I said! I just realized that one rabbit is missing an ear. Oh, yeah. I caught it when he, they hopped just... out of the hole. <laughs> Friends, before we bunk down, I'd like us all to join hands for a moment. Say a few words to the spirit of the West. He belongs in the Lord of the Rings, this guy. He looks like Gandalf with that beard. Yeah. Ain't always spoken rightly to you, spirit of the West. I want to thank you for bringing Sheriff Rango into our lives. Starting to fancy you. We needed a brave man, and you sent us one. Nice to have someone to believe in again. Amen. Amen. So is this movie going to do that thing where they find out he's a coward, then they like he gets exiled and he has to come back and prove that he's actually a hero? <laughs> that would be his conflict. That would be his arc. <laughs> is he sleeping next to the lady? What's her name? Beans? Ms. Beans? Oh, yeah, it's Beans. Duh. Beans loves you, Rango. But around here, we just call them the walking cactus. When I was a little girl, I'd stay up late watching them to see if they'd move. I thought if I could follow them, they'd lead me to someplace wonderful. Someplace with enough water for everyone. That is so pretty. There's someone special in your life, Rango? Oh, well, there used to be, but she couldn't keep her head. <laughs> you know, it's an awful solitary existence out there on the prairie. Riding the ranges and the such like. Oh. Uh, Beans? She gets nervous or stressed. Beans? Defense mechanism. <gasps> Maybe a kiss will wake her up. That's so sweet. Oh! oh she she it. knew! Clever gal, clever okay. gal. Okay. It's the water. I have a plan. And each and every one of you has a part to play. What do I do? You stay up here on the ridge, and if anything goes wrong, you give the signal. Here we go. Let's get it. Hey, Beans, what size dress are you wearing? Hmm. About that water. There's something I got to hush, do. Hush up now. Somebody's coming. <laughs> Did Ranga put on her dress? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> May I present Madame Lupin's Tepsichorean troop of traveling thespians? <laughs> the stage is set. The princess prepares to take her own life. I yearn for love. Uh -huh. This plot's highly predictable. Prithee, unhand my fair daughter and reach for the, uh, the line. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mama must be the item mercy if they. <laughs> you and your entire family get your hands up where I can see them. My entire family? Uh oh. Oh, God. Uh oh, you didn't account for them. Oh, no. Ooh, How they're do like they even zombies. Hear you? Wait, rise, what? my Whoa. family. Damn. Uh oh. It's a full house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the signal. What's that supposed to be? That's the signal. <laughs> <laughs> Something's supposed to happen. <laughs> oh no! Oh damn! Do we have ourselves some sport chilling? I like it when they run. Uh oh. 
Give the holler! Yee-haw! Abre, 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 abre! Yee-haw! Abre, abre, abre! Oh, no. Whoa! That was cool. Oh, my gosh. That was awesome. <laughs> Those bats, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Whoa. Bats in the daytime, huh? Interesting. I know. I was like, would they even come out during oh. the daylight? I feel like they wouldn't. You're going to poke a hole in the water, sir. <laughs> Pretty sure it's lasso. <laughs> oh no, Rango. Rango. That little guy's cute. <laughs> How do they have it? They have these huge Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's Come ridiculous. Come on, get one of the bats, Rango. I love it. Rango, focus on the problem at hand. Your people are dying. I thought he was dead. He's alive. He's alive. Get it, girl. Yeah. Taking care of business. No. Oh, no. It's oh, no, break. not the water. It's empty. Oh. There's no water. There's no water. You have defiled and desecrated the very sustenance of our livelihood. That's the same villain who give us a prospecting permit. A what? <clears throat> Irrelevant. Obfuscation. <laughs> you and your kin are under arrest for bank robbery, murder of our beloved financial advisor. Sheriff, we didn't kill nobody. We done tunneled into that vault, but there weren't nothing in it. Somebody done robbed that bank before we robbed it. Oh. Then where'd you get this here jug? I found it in the desert. The wine tarnation of you bringing here. Ouch. <laughs> You're saying this here jug was empty when you found it? That's right. Uh, I don't believe a word of it. Let's hang him, Sheriff. Let's string him up. Who would dump water in the desert? Wouldn't be the first time. It's a puzzle. It's a mystery. But I'm going to strip away this mystery and expose its private parts. You and your kin are coming with me. Is it that Australian lizard from the beginning of the movie that ran away when the bird came? Oh. Well, well, well. Could it be? Come back sad and waterless. Defeated. No water. Where's the water? There were no water. Where, where's he going? To come to terms with his failure. Interesting. I do apologize for the shoes, Mr. Rango. <gasps> it's him. Oh, the turtle. His shoes are moist. So the turtle? Yeah. Because mm. that was like mud. Yeah. So he knows, he probably knows where the water is. Interesting. It does seem a bit naive taking the word of admitted bank robbers. Besides, once they hang, your job is done. But what if somebody did rob the bank before they got there? And who would do that? You, you're in sus evil turtle vibes. I was hoping you could tell me. That sounds marginally near to an accusation. Take it any way you like. Oh. Uh. Something you said keeps rattling around in my frontal lobe. Control the water, and you control everything. <laughs> Is that a reference to Dune? <laughs> what are you building out here? The future. One day soon, all this is going to fade into myth. The frontier town, the lawman, the gunslinger. There's just no place for them anymore. Mm. That's what the future holds. You can either be part of it, or you can be left behind. Something tells me he's a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Our new sheriff has been playing the hero for so long, he's actually starting to believe it. 
Fall in, Rattlesnake Jake. Uh-oh. That's a roly poly. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know why I oh thought it was armadillo. Gosh. Yeah. That's the ridges. He's building an entire empire. The mayor has bought up all the land in the valley, except for your ranch, Miss Beans. That just don't make no sense. Without water, that land is useless. That's where the water is. He controls the water. Then he could bring it back once he's bought up all the land. We got a problem. Uh, everyone, no, 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 he said she's all his fault. He said she's gonna bring the water back. It's just we got no hope without that water. We got nothing left to believe in. Now he's got to do a speech. You make them believe. You see that sign up there? As long as that sign says sheriff, you can believe that there's law and order in this town. But without law and order. Accusations start flying, neighbor turns on neighbor. Pretty soon, we're eating our children, then dogs and cats are getting together to create all sorts of unnatural mutant aberrations. <laughs> I would love a dog cat. Believe in me. Believe in that there sign. For as long as it hangs there, we got hope. Oh. Okay. That's a metaphor Still for hanging. my life. <laughs> yeah. Hanging on by a thread. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, it's rattle. Rattlesnake the, Jake. Is the gun. Interesting. Hello, brother. So steep. Wow. Oh, Venom. Long time, brother. How you been keeping? <laughs> Seems these folks trust you. They think you're gonna save their little town. But we know better, don't we? That's he a has very a cool painted, shot. <laughs> yeah, he has painted on mustache. You see oh, that? Oh, no. So why don't you show your friends here what you're made of? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Show them who you really That's are. silly. Why don't you just pull yeah. your gun and shoot me? But of course, you won't need all these. Just one, right? Ooh. Twin right guys. back at ya. Touche, Snake. Touche. You didn't do any of them things you said, did you? You didn't kill them Jenkins brothers. You ain't even from the West, are you? No. Poor Rango. You ain't nothing but a fake and a cow. Isn't that right? Yes. Listen close, you pathetic fraud. Mm. If I ever see you again, I will take your soul straight down to hell. Ugh. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. That sky is so pretty, I can't stop looking at it. Who is he? He's just a man without a plan. Poor Ringo. Whoa, those look real. Yeah, those look absolutely real. Wow. What a great shot. Some of these shots are just so beautiful. Well, a lot of them are, actually. Yeah. I am wishing right now that I felt a little more sad for Rango. Yeah. Like that I was a little more invested in the characters and the story. Like overall, I like it, but there's like. I feel like we wasted a lot of screen time on that chase where it yeah, deletes to nothing. Right. That yeah. could have been used for more development and gets more endeared to them. I agree. So that during this like turn, we would we would really feel for him. I still do, but I I, I wanted to feel for him a little more. Yeah, I agree. I, I felt it coming, but I was like, it's all about the execution, not knowing that it's going to happen. Agreed, know? yeah. Oh, he found his little Aww, his, his girl. Barbie. Uh, There's a lot of traffic for the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Wow. Cool. Ah. Huh. Golden Guardians. <laughs> the spirit of the West. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Spirit, sir. Ah. There's a butte. Sometimes you gotta dig deep to find what you're looking for. Wow. So you made it. 
Is that Clint Eastwood? I was just thinking. If it were, we'd be eating Pop-Tarts with Kim Novak. Yeah. Is that Clint Eastwood? It sounds like him. What are you doing out here? Searching, same as you. I don't know. I thought it, I thought it was going to look like him. That's what I was uh, yeah, expecting Yeah, it kind of does, but then I'm like, I don't know if it... They used to call you the man with no name. Ah. These days, they got a name for just about everything. No, it's not Clint Eastwood. My friends believed in me, but need some kind of hero. Then be a hero. It's not about you. It's about them. But I can't go back. Don't know that you got a choice, son. Oh, that's a POV from the beginning. No man can walk out on his own story. Oh, that's a nice callback. I don't know. Maybe it was Clint Eastwood. <laughs> that's right, amigo. The other side of the road. Did you just see that? We each see what we need to see. Love the music here. Many years ago, this entire valley was covered in agua. Only one question remains. Where did it go? It's pointing towards the water. Whoa! Oh, damn. Oh, wow. They follow the water. Come on. Let's ride. Oh. Whoa. Is it Vegas? It yeah, it's Vegas. It looks like it's Vegas. Oh, God. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's funny. You guys, that's my hometown, and I don't like it very much. Oh, really? You're from Vegas? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> Ooh. Without water, that land is useless. What are you building out here? The future. I was here before the highway split this great valley. I watched the march of progress, and I learned a thing or two. Before they built Vegas, before they built the Strip. Control the water. And you control everything. Like spice. Hmm. Come now, Mr. Rango. You attribute divine power to me. How on earth could I possibly control the water? <laughs> it does make sense considering he had like a little thing of water. A water, and, right? Yeah. The only one. And he did not freak out when he heard, obviously he had to hear that bottle break. And be like, did you just break my water? Right. My precious water? <laughs> the little we have left? <laughs> Ah. Mm -hmm. Emergency shut off. No man can walk out on his own story. I'm going back. That's right. Because that's who I am. That's right. What's your name? You're Rango. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he going to be in his Clint Eastwood fit now? You got a lot of nerve showing up here, lawman. What is it you want? Clint Rangwood. Your peppy and them boys are about to hang for something they didn't do. But I've got a plan. <laughs> it's the eye squint, too. <laughs> as long as that sign still hangs. Still hanging. We still, still got belief. Oh, nice. That's a nice shot. I like that. Your family's ranch is nothing but a wasteland now. Sign the deed and relieve yourself of your father's burden. Don't do it. My daddy was not a Oh. Keep your blood money and I'll keep my land. Get it, girl. Ah. Do what he says, or by all the fires of the black pit, I'll squeeze them pretty brown eyes out of your skull. <gasps> now hold on, Chase. There's no need. Let me do my job. Oh. You brought me in, now we're going to play this thing out to the end. Oh, whoa. Did they say or imply that he killed her dad? They didn't say because i feel like that would make sense as to why it would because i feel like the water is there and she might not know it yeah Jay! I'm calling you out. this day you just got a little more interesting <laughs> make your move Save your name and save that girl, Rango. That's pretty cool. Uh oh. Kill him with one bullet. I'm gonna get any bullets in there. He had one. Oh, he had the one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. oh He's nice. in killing mode right now. Yeah. Oh, 
Cool. No, wow. Can't do it alone. Uh, come on. Oh! oh. Uh. Thirsty, brother. Drink up. Uh oh. <laughs> bye bye, town, but at it's least you have destroyed the water. whole town, right? Dang. What is that? It's our salvation, Paul. It's a jailbreak, boys. We're busted out. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. I'm not gonna question how the thing has bullets. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, but that's it doesn't. Okay. But we're <laughs> looks, here for the ride. We're here for the ride. It looks cool. Oh, Mr. Rango, aren't you forgetting something? That walking turtle. Take the thing off her head, Franco. Come on now. It's a new West, Jake. There's no room for gunslingers anymore. We're businessmen now. We got new hats. Where I come from, we call this improvisation. Oh, okay. You came back. Did you just swallow the bullet? I was just thinking. To kiss her? Hopefully he spits it back out. Does she have it? Uh -oh. Oh. What was that? No need to panic, but I think you just swallowed plan B. Oh, no. no! You and the sheriff are more alike than you think. You're nothing but legends. Pretty soon, no one will believe you even existed. Come on. One last bullet to kill one last outlaw. Is he gonna shoot out through the glass and then break it? <laughs> huh? Yep, he took it out. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. not not fast enough. Oh! oh! Hey, hey! Not how I thought it was going to happen. I thought it was going to projectile, but... Right. It same. just was a slow tap into a... Um, to the glass. A waterfall. To a waterfall. <laughs> I'm sure if we work together, we could reach a mutually beneficial solution. No, sir. One bullet. I tip my head to one legend to another. Respect. What was that you said? Pretty soon, no one will believe you even existed. Oh! See you later, buddy. Adios. Adios, amigo. Sayonara. Water. Agua. She's so cute. I love her. You really are a hero. Oh, <laughs> well, the thing about heroes is whenever you... Don't spoil it. <laughs> and so the lizard completes his journey. And he didn't die. Your town's kind of destroyed, but that's okay. The water's <laughs> here. And although he's certain to die, perhaps from a household accident. <laughs> The village will always remember the name of the one who saved them. Rango. 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 Gore Verbinski. Hmm. Okay. John Logan. All right. This is kind of a cool little outro here. Mm, totally. I like it. No, 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 no,
shout out to Astapro for sponsoring us. So some fun facts about me. I've been seeing an ENT the past couple of months. Got a CT scan done for my allergies, and right now I'm trying to find time to get deviated septum surgery. So like many of you, I am someone who's tried pretty much every nasal spray you can think of because I have difficulty breathing through my nose, which leads to day-to-day -day and sleeping problems on a consistent basis. So before agreeing to this, I wanted to try them out myself because this is a serious thing I deal with. They provided me with free samples. This is my second bottle. This is without a doubt the best nasal spray I have ever used. That's not some talking point. That's my very own personal testimony. Genuinely, for me, it's fantastic and lives up to how it's advertised. It's the fastest 24-hour over-the-counter solution available. It gets to work in just 30 minutes while other sprays take hours to kick in. It's also the only one out there that's steroid-free for 24-hour relief. Astapro has seriously changed the game for me, offering full prescription strength relief from nasal congestion, runny nose, and sneezing. The difference this makes is phenomenal. It's kind of insane how this relief to my breathing and nostrils just kicks in and I'm back in action really fast. So if you're like me, battling with nasal allergies and looking for relief, get fast-acting nasal allergy or symptom relief with Astapro. Go to astaproallergy.com for a discount so you can Astapro and go. It's faster with Astapro, bro. I saw that commercial. <laughs> Astapro, it's faster, bro. That's A-S-T-E-P-R-O allergy.com. Remember, use as directed for relief of nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, and itchy nose due to allergies. Thank you again, Astapro, sincerely. All right, Reject Nation. So today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's hydration multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial crucial, especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because we not only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. Whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's hydration multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. But sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact, it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. Most also big on efficiency. Plus, it's packed with 11 essential vitamins, and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post-night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, I so, if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code REJECTS at checkout. That's liquidiv.com, promo code REJECTS. And remember, Liquid IV, it's not a real IV, but it sure feels like it. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. Okay. Okay, that was fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes. I think it was fun. You know, I, I will say that in the beginning, I was really, I was taken aback by the cinematography. Yeah. Beautiful shots. Like, really, every shot they put into it, just absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, I was like, wait, okay, it's just about, like, water and like Rango. And I was, it took me a little while to kind of like get into it. But once it got to the end, I was like, Oh heck yeah. Let's like, once it all came together, I appreciated like the whole story. Yeah. Um, I still did enjoy myself a lot. I thought some of the jokes in it were, I, I didn't laugh as I think as much as maybe they had hoped I would, or as maybe was their intention for some of those jokes, mm -hmm. but I was really enraptured by the cinematography um, and the way they were shooting shots and just the beautiful colors. And it really does make you want to go to the desert. Like I was like, uh, I, it, this movie makes me want to go to the desert. Um, but I did love all of the characters in here. And like I said, I really like the, the animation, the way they drew the characters, they really came to life. They seemed really, really realistic. And in that desert shot, when they were like fighting for the water that was not there, that's Timothy. Uh, Whoa. Okay. okay. Um, that, uh, I thought that that was shot really well. It kind of reminded me of like just a regular sequence that you would maybe see in star Wars, but it's like with, like bats and in the desert. And I like the way that they shot that a lot. I thought that was very cool. Um, yeah. What did you go? What did you think? Uh, I thought the movie was a lot of fun. I thought it, 
did a really good job at kind of displaying this this desert scenario and mm-hmm. just the the way that that story would kind of play out. Uh, I let like from the beginning, I was very enraptured and just like, engrossed in like the animation style and how detailed it was. I was not expecting that going yeah. into this movie, and from there, yeah, I mean, I. I thought it was funny. It wasn't the most hilarious movie I've ever right. seen, but it, it did make me laugh at points in the movie. And yeah, it was just really creative. I like the music. Uh, I will say towards the middle, it mm-hmm. kind of, I wouldn't say like checked out completely, but I was less engrossed in the story. Yeah, me just, too. Yeah. Like the, like the beginning I thought was really interesting. I'm like, I don't know where this story's going, but like, it's just these tumbling of events that's kind of unfolding with, uh, Ringo is just kind of being carried through the story. Yeah. And he doesn't make it really an active choice um, until like the end. And, like, yeah. And I thought that was cool, like a, a good arc for him to go through. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I would say that this movie, it was, it was fun. It was fun. I, I enjoyed it overall. Uh, the characters were really memorable. Ow. Do you hear that? Do you hear like a spike? Like a, no, no. Nothing? Oh, trippy. All right. I'll just ignore it. Um, yeah, I would say that Johnny Depp did a great job. All yeah. the voice actors did a really good job in this. Mm-hmm. And uh, from start to finish, yeah, it was it was a very strong voice cast. I wasn't distracted by the fact that Johnny Depp was the Slizzard. I think he played very much uh, into the role. And I like that yeah. he's the 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 trope or the the role of like the the coward, the the storyteller becoming the actual hero and kind of uh, embracing that. Yeah. And yeah, all the details in this just really made it a lot more immersive from like the, like we talked about it throughout the whole movie, how beautiful it was. Right. Uh, from just like the, the certain shots that they would have from whether it just be like a landscape or just like how the moon would shine or even those flowers at that one point. Gosh, just looked that very looked realistic. so real. And I'm surprised this movie doesn't get a lot more attention. And it this movie came out in what, 2011? So it's like, like a few years past of being a decade old and yeah. still looks incredible some better than some animation movies that come out now yeah i agree yeah and i'm surprised that in the day and age of like especially with this being like a nickelodeon film and with the inundation of like sequels and reboots that this didn't get a sequel but i also right. think this movie like ends on a nice bow where it doesn't necessarily need one yeah because it's like well, how much more can we talk about water in the desert and how we need to get it because i really i i liked that we started out where he's like the actor he's a thespian i really love when we brought that back in the desert uh to distract the bad guys to try to get the water like following his story right but um I wish that maybe that came up a little bit more because as you said in the middle where you kind of, it it just wasn't as exciting to me. I was sort of like, okay, I get where we're going, but there was something there that was missing where that in, in other films that I'm like really taken along with the story. And you guys know, I mean, I always talk about this, that I want to go on a journey, like an emotional one, uh, a a funny one, a sad one, a happy one. And in the middle of this, it was sort of just like a story, but I didn't get that full pull that I, I, I wanted. So I think for a sequel for this specifically, it would have to be, it, it would be fun to see Rango in his element as being a sheriff. And now he knows who he is. He was, he was taken from playing pretending Mm -hmm. um and now he's actually become into his own as a real sheriff now and it would be fun to see him play that out i'm just not sure where i mean the plot could go anywhere i guess at that point if he's just in this western town but um maybe it's because it wasn't like super heartfelt like i didn't i didn't feel super emotional at the point when he was dying right and the Mm -hmm. roly-polies came up and he was just sort of giving up I wanted to go through that a little bit more with Rango. Like I really wanted to feel a little bit more like more sad for him. Mm -hmm. Um, So that at the end when he wins, I still was like, yay. But I think it could have been more. Yeah. I think a a couple of things kind of held it back for me was that that middle section, the whole part where they were going on that journey had like, 10 plus people going to get yeah. the water. I was like, one, it was a little bit of a, too much of a cast for that whole section of it. But two, it felt like, like a mandated mission. Like, like maybe like, I don't know how much involvement, like, or the interference the studio had in like the process of this film, but it felt like, all right, this movie needs a giant set piece because this movie needs to capture the attention of kids, even though we're, we're talking about all of these things that will fly over kids heads. Right. And it didn't, I think that could have been used to really 
endear us to the characters more, mm-hmm. endear us to him and, and his relationship with Beans, uh, kind of challenge the whole, the, the most f- fun parts for me were seeing him find his way out of situations like him personally or or him using his his acting skills or like yeah. the, what we what we saw of him to um outsmart things and i feel like that whole section of the movie one it was kind of a fruitless thing the only thing that really came from it was like those people coming back and helping him at the end yes. but i feel like the signs of good movies are ones that can have like dual purposes whether it's two things that that help move the plot forward or more preferably something that uh moves the character forward and i don't think that section of the movie really added to rango's journey because right. it was main it was very much about the actions that were going on rather than how was this helping him right um, develop and which is probably why i didn't feel as much for him as i was saying like when he was kind of done and being like i give up that i wanted to feel more and if we had spent time on that emotional emotional journey of moving his his character forward i think i would have yeah because i feel like that moment where uh the snake or Jake the snake outs him should have been more heartbreaking. Like, no, yeah. like, cause, cause I feel like in other Agreed. movies at this point in the movie, they were like, Oh man, you're like, is this hero? Like, Oh, he is for us. And like, wow, he's like, like, he's such a great guy. Like he starts to fall in love with the people and then they feel that betrayal and he feels like, no, I'm outed. Like I'm a fraud. I feel like we didn't really have that moment right. to really get him endeared into loving this community right. and for them loving him back. I agree, because the time that I felt really where, where the movie actually took its time where I kind of felt some something more is when he was talking to Beans when it was night in the desert, mm-hmm. and he gave, he gave her that kiss, and they had just, like, a nice talk, and the movie slowed down a bit, and it gave us time to just, like, be rather than, like, let's do all this action so, like, maybe kids can be entertained. Right. Um, it gave us a little bit more of a plot, and I wish they would have taken their time a little bit more with him if we had more of those types of sequences where we really did feel even though with the little girl who I love like at the end you know she's like you brought the water back we could tell that her and Rango had a relationship we just didn't delve too much we didn't delve deeper into it like we could have really felt something there and again how you said oh the town all loves him but we didn't get that full feeling of like oh, please don't out Rango it's gonna make me so sad Um, it was just sort of like we see it we see it coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I still I still enjoyed it. I loved the the animation again. Everything is beautiful in here and the shots are great. My my favorite callback shot was the um what Rango did in the beginning, uh drawing the box in his point of view and then the Clint Eastwood character that I call him does it again. Mm-hmm. And he says you can't look into your I forget the line, you guys. I wish I knew the line, but he says the line like you can't Look into your own story. That is not the line. I don't remember, but you guys get what I'm saying. I really enjoyed that callback and that move in the in the script specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say, I mean, for me on an entertainment level, like I'd be like, oh, 6.5 out of 10. Like, I don't know that I don't feel like I would need to watch this again because I'm like, oh, I love it. I'm like, no, I, I understand what, what happens here. Mm-hmm. Um, it, but I would if anyone was like, What's a really beautiful movie uh, to just look at cinematically? I'd be like, Rango does a great job of that. And it is still a fun story. I just, I wish I loved it more and I'd gone on a little bit more of an emotional journey. That's that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, like I said, (coughs) very beautiful movie to look at from start to finish. And I, I think the end wraps up nicely and ties very well into the beginning. I just wish that middle section was a little stronger. Yeah. But I think it's it's an enjoyable experience. And it's funny because I was like, I've heard of this movie. I've like, and but I've never really heard anybody talk about this movie. Me it's neither. Not like, it's not really like a popular one, you know? At and all. I wonder that if that middle section has played that much of a hindrance on it. Where I think it's a combination of two things. One, that middle section doesn't elevate the movie to be like what I feel like they intended it to be. Mm -hmm. But two, I feel like, especially with the Nickelodeon name attached to it and, and Johnny Depp, I feel like they were hoping to bring in more of a, a child audience, but I feel like the script wants to be something that's above the comprehension or like a thing that captures kids attention. Cause it's not, it's stylized, but not in a way that's like, 
poppy or flashy, you know? And uh, granted, maybe, well, this is 2011. I'm not sure, like, how that correlates with, like, how you capture kids' attention now. And I know everything's mm-hmm. very, like, colorful and bright and, like, kind of like a shoot-off of Spider-Verse. But right. back in 2011, this is very much like a muted movie, and they're trying to make a, a child-friendly Western while also trying to appeal to adults. So maybe that's something yeah. in that osmosis for why they didn't really do well. But, yeah, I think that... um that kind of sums up how I feel. I'm kind of in the same boat with yeah. you with like 6.5. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's in that middle area. It's like, it's not bad, but it's not like blowing my mind either. So right. I, thought, I thought it was fun. I was happy with the end. Uh, we love you guys. You know it. Also, I forgot to say, if you're listening to this on Apple or Spotify, give us a good rating. Um, make sure that you like this. You know, share it. Leave a comment. Let us know how you feel about this movie. Uh, we would love to hear your thoughts. You know, we love you so much. And don't forget, rejectnationshop.com and just tell us how cool we are because we love you and we're happy to be here. And we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye. David the Gandy and Xander the Cat. Happy birthdays to the both of you. This is not just a patron of the day shout out, all right? This is a well wishing to set the tone for the entire rest of your year, David. Your next trip around the sun, very similar to where you live on the surface of the sun in the deserts of Azarona. But my dude, I hope you're doing well out there, taking lots and lots of cinematic epic photos, jamming on the guitar, singing high up to the heavens, cuddling with your wildlife and whatnot, and most of all, for being ever so generous as to, in your own birthday month, continue gifting us with your hard-earned rewards that you reap from all that you sow across this great land of ours. David, if we could elect somebody to be like the chancellor of the reject nation, of the real reject, super sexy, royal reject, Patreon, whatever it's called right now, you would be the chancellor and we would bow to you because you are just and kind and we love you. So stay pledged and uh, and we'll wish you another belated birthday next year or maybe an early birthday. Who knows? Stick around and find out, buddy. We love you. Mm-hmm.